Hey guys, my name is Starfox. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. This video will not be a tutorial. Instead, I'm just going to show you five different sugarcane farms in this video, which you can take a look at and take some inspiration from. I won't be showing you how to build them. I'll just basically be showing you how they work. All right, let's take a look at these manual farms here. There are going to be two manual farms and three automatic farms in this video. And here, let's, you just walk down here and you just punch out the sugarcane like this while you're running. And this, these can be as long as you want them to be and as many rows as you want. And it's one of the better manual farms in my opinion. It's very easy to harvest and it works great. I've used it myself in my survival world and I love it. There's just some glass on top of here to prevent you from falling through and having a bunch of holes around. And now, let's take a look at this second one here. And uh, these are waterlogged slabs here. Uh, this is the second manual farm and waterlogged slabs, so you've got a smooth farm here. It, no falling into some water uh, or anything like that. You just harvest it all, collect it all manually and it is also a pretty good nice manual farm if you want to use this instead. Just going to switch into creative mode here and give you a little overhead view here of this farm. And uh, now let's take a look at this first automatic farm here. Uh, and this is just a simple piston observer farm. Uh, it's double layered here. You can build higher and you can build further out. It, uh, it's an expandable farm. Again, these are all expandable farms. And just trigger the observer and boom, sugar can is harvest, harvested. You can use as many observers or as few as you like. Just one per row would be good. I put two on this farm here and uh, it works pretty well. It's a bit on the slow side, but it harvests whenever you're in the area. And here in the back, you can see a line of redstone. That's pretty much all the redstone there is. And now here's the, the, what is it, fourth farm here we got. Uh, this is just a copy basically of the manual farm over there where it's the log, waterlogged slabs, except here I used waterlogged stairs instead to prevent water from flooding out the rails underneath. And here we got some uh, hopper uh, minecart unloader here. And when the minecart comes here, I'll quickly show you how that works. And here's the minecart. Um, just gonna put a two stacks of sugar can in here and I pushed it up here and as you can see it is unloading the sugar cane into the hopper and when it's empty as it will be any second now it just takes off again and you can collect the sugar cane this is just a simple hopper unloader system and here we got a flying machine doing the harvesting uh, just gonna put a few sugar can here for it to harvest and uh, gonna try oh it triggered on its own so the hopper clock here the Ito hopper clock uh, is triggers the flying machine every so often and uh, just triggers the observer here actually there's five stacks of objects in the hopper and the observer triggers uh, this redstone torch here which flicks off and on which flips the trap door and causes the flying machine to harvest all the sugar can uh, every I actually don't know how long it takes between a harvesting but uh, it seems to work well the timing isn't too bad with just five stacks there so it works and now the final sugarcane farm here is actually an Il Mango design. He's a pretty good YouTuber. He makes some pretty technical designs and this is actually a bit... And some people consider this to be a bit cheating. Uh, just harvesting sugarcane. This is by far the fastest farm here and it's a very efficient and somewhat cheaty method. Uh, some people don't like to use it, uh, others don't mind it, and if you want to use it, that's up to you. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making all these farms, and leave a like and subscribe if you really enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.